Hey there, this is Kayla from Kibio, and today we're going to do a little bit of a rundown of the build tools that we recommend here at Kibio. The first one off is the soldering mat. You're going to recognize this one as the backdrop for pretty much all of our videos thus far. It makes for catching solder significantly easier and we use it to keep all of our parts together and keep ourselves pretty organized that way. Next up is the soldering station. The block on the right is the power station and iron itself is sitting in a reinforced safety rest off to the left. This resting spot also holds your other soldering tips handy as well as your brass sponge. Your brass sponge will also help you keep the soldering iron clean of excess solder. That way you can make connections neatly. An upcoming video will be dedicated specifically to soldering, so subscribe to be the first to know when we drop it. The green contraption we have here is the fume extractor. I find this useful because my eyes have sensitivity to the solder smoke. It's not required for a build, but if you have a similar challenge with fumes in your eyes, it is a great tool to have. The solder we recommend is 63% tin and 37% lead. Lead free is more difficult to handle. Make your life easier where you can. So these are the flush cutters. You've seen these in our other videos as they're helpful for cutting off the leg length on resistors, diodes, LEDs, and stabilizer inserts. Dielectric grease is for easing the movement of stabilizer pieces only. Other viscous matter is used for switches. Using a liner brush for just a brush with a very small tip is great to apply the grease. Anti-static tweezers are going to be a huge help in any build. These can be super great for getting into the small places or handling the small things when it might be a little bit too tricky for fingers to actually be handling them. If you want to change where your keycaps are sitting, this is the perfect tool. For screwdriver precision brands, we recommend Wera and Weha. These can make your life a lot easier in a number of circumstances. Hex screwdrivers are great, especially since we're also coming out with a little something special soon. Your switch puller will be most helpful in removing switches with bent legs or if they didn't sit properly into your top plate or hot swap. This soldering iron has definitely seen some additions. Danny has printed some awesome 3D parts as well as purchased something to help the grip be a little bit more improved, but this is a fantastic soldering iron if you are looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly and something that might be really friendly for those who are just starting to get into soldering. On a really fun note, it can also play Tetris. This jeweler's prong is super fantastic if you really want to keep your hands clean while you're lubricating stabilizers or other tiny parts. It has like four little claws that pop out. It can hold on to stuff real well for you. And let's move this aside. 
I would not say that this jeweler's prong is technically required for a beginner getting into building mechanical keyboards, but I would say that it can be something that is super helpful. It isn't something that you have to make sure that you have pressure constantly applied. It will hold on to things by itself but definitely it has many other uses and other applications so don't feel limited to this one use. Sometimes too much solder winds up on your PCB or something is in the wrong spot. Never fear for the desoldering pump is here. Be sure to give yourself ample light. Being able to see things is going to be your primary key to getting anything done to begin with. Enjoy and happy building. See you in the next video.